Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a new subscriber, thank you for uh, stopping in, subscribing, seeing what I have not been doing lately. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for sticking with me. It's been a hot minute since I've uploaded any videos. And if you hear a noise in the background, I'm hoping it doesn't drown me out. It's hot. It is so hot. I've got a fan like two feet away from me blowing directly on me. I'm hoping it doesn't pick up on the mic and distort me, but I can't sit here and I'm paint or record if I don't have this fan blowing on me. It's so hot. I mean, it's nine, just, just a bit after nine, 20 after nine here. And it is 20 after 9 p.m. It's still 105 here in Vegas. Today is July 13th, and my husband is watching some things I'm not interested in. I just came home from picking my son up from work, so I thought, what the heck, I'd record a video. Um, it's been, like I said, a hot minute. Since any recordings have been done, um, last month in June, I did two lives and did not have very good, very good uh, response in my lives. I posted ahead of time on Facebook and I think Instagram. I don't remember if I posted on Instagram, but I did post on Facebook that I would be going live on, I think it was Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday, it was either the 12th or 13th, I had gone live and posted that I was going to be going live for my birthday. And I wanted to celebrate with my subscribers. And um, yeah, not many people showed up. So due to my reception, or due to the reception I get from my lives, I will not be going live anymore. Um, that's too much of my time that I'm spending basically talking to myself, trying to figure out what I'm going to say because there's really no commenting going on in chat. And you, know, you can only have, carry on a conversation with yourself for so long before you don't have anything to even say to yourself. So I don't see um, any future lives taking place. Um, I have not posted any videos in almost eight months. And I'm going to get into why here shortly. But I want to address a few things that I'm seeing, which kind of has to do with why I have not been posting videos. But <clears throat> I am seeing a whole lot of neg negativity, which there has been negativity. There's always going to be negativity because we've got keyboard warriors. Anybody who can post on a social media website and ruin somebody else's joy, happiness, or if they're down in the dumps and depressed or having a hard time. Anybody who can make a post on social media to make them feel worse or take their joy away from them is a keyboard warrior. Because you know, nine times out of 10, you wouldn't say that to a person's face. So we're gonna discuss some of this because it's really, it's pissing me off. Just that there's no other way around it. It's pissing me off. But before we get into this, um, I am working on The Reading Tree by Randall Spangler, Diamond Art Club, 
diamond painting. Um, currently, I think it is out of stock. You could um, we click on the uh, notifications at the bottom of the web. Um, you go to the website, you click on the the diamond painting, and you scroll down to the bottom, and you can subscribe to get a notification when it's in stock. Now, I'm going to let you know ahead of time. You're going to get an email when it is in stock. They're not going to sell, tell you what time they're going to send you the email. The email is going to go out. It's going to be a mass email for everybody who signed up to receive that email. There's no guarantee that you're going to get it, but it does give you an opportunity to try and get it. And if you don't get it when they do a restock, well, you have that opportunity to sign up for an email to receive it again. Eventually, you will get it. Um, I am doing this for an um, event that's going on on Facebook. I will put the link in the description box of the page. It is too late to sign up now because we are already halfway through, but you can still go on and see everything that everybody is doing. And this is not the only time this event will take place. So there are opportunities for the future to um, get involved in one of the future. This is going to be something that they're going to be doing yearly. And then there's also going to be an event by another uh, creator on YouTube in November. Um, so all that information, I will put all the links and such, I'll put in the description box below. But, um, so yeah. So, talked about that. Um, it's, this is going to take forever. This is huge. It's a 104 centimeters by 51 centimeters. I will not have this done by the end of July which is fine because this is only, you only have to get, I think, 50% done on this one. Some of them, is, depending on the size, because some of the Randall Spanglers are massive. Um, some of them you have to have 25%, some 50%, some were 75% um, completion. So, yeah. Um, I can't remember what I had to get completed on this one to qualify for the grand prize, but that's, if I, if I don't get it, that's fine, you know, but there's no guarantee there's a lot of people that signed up for this anyway, so I wouldn't hold my breath that I'd be a winner. Um, I don't even win on, when there's small giveaways where there's only like 20 people that sign up, which that's not actually true because I just won, um, Pippa Brown here on YouTube. She had a giveaway and I actually won one of the prizes on that, which is really cool. I forget what it's called, but it's a, it's like a yarn winder. It's made out of wood um, and it's made out of like Australian wood. I forget what it's called, but when I get it, I will be doing an, uh, um, an opening on the channel when I get it. Um, there's no rush for it because, you know, shipping is expensive. That's another thing we're going to touch on. There's going to be a lot of things we're going to touch on tonight. I don't know how long this whipping chat's going to be, but it's not all going to be uh, unicorn farts and, you know, rainbow glitter and all that because shit's got to stop. Um, this is, I've never seen or heard such cruelty ever ever I, I just don't get it you know there was always the mean kids on the playground and um they always said oh they're just kids they'll, they'll grow out of it now the only thing they grew out of was their clothes and became adults to be grow up to be mean adults there's mean kids on the playground now they're just mean adults they, I think they get pure pleasure from hurting people. 
And I don't want to hear, oh, you know, that's, they're just being misunderstood. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're not being misunderstood. When somebody says something that hurts somebody, they are deliberately saying it to hurt them. Because they'll leave a comment and say, well, you know, it's not my problem. They got their feelings hurt. Um, yeah, it'd be your problem if it was a face-to-face -face because they like said half these people wouldn't say anything if their ass was on fire if they had to say it to your face. But they have no problem sitting behind a keyboard saying the most hurtful, cruel, inhumane things. It, it's, it's, I'm, a, I'm ashamed to live in this world. I really am. It is embarrassment. This is... Let, let's get on my uh, where the topics lie due to this. So, well, we've got <clears throat> people posting things. First off, it's one of the biggest things I think that bothers me is people post on YouTube, or I mean on Facebook about their stashes, how many diamond paintings they have. <clears throat> because they want to share with other people what they have. Everybody seems to think they're wanting to rub it in somebody's face. No, they're not. They're not. And you have people that will put in their comment. Now, I'm going to tell you right off the bat. If you put something in your comment that you say you're not doing it, it's just your opinion. <clears throat> example. This is just a, this is an example, but this is something that I see on a daily basis on the v DNC VIP group, on Crafters Anonymous, Rachel Ray and Mrs. Coffee, on just different groups that I belong to, somebody will post a comment of, I don't know why everybody has to put their stash out there. I don't know why everybody has to have so many diamond pins. It's just my opinion. I wouldn't need any. But I just don't know why everybody else needs to. They've got more diamond paintings than they'll ever do. Okay. First off, it's none of your damn business how many diamond paintings somebody has. It's not. It is none of your damn business. It doesn't matter how many diamond paintings somebody has. Guess what? Look, there's four of them laying right here. I'm only using one at the moment, but guess what? My multi-placer on this one is clean wax. It's a four-placer. It's clean wax. It's good for my regular drills. This one here is a three-placer. This is a steel placer. It has museum wax in it. Sometimes this works better on my ABs than my um, regular multi-placer works. Sometimes this wax on, on this plastic four-placer is dirty enough that it will pick up my ABs and not pull the wax out. This one here, this here is a forever tip. This here has <clears throat> the uh, museum wax in it. If I only have one or two ABs that need to lay, I'm going to use this before I use my three-placer. This also has a straightener at the end of it. And this one here is a seven-placer. So depending on how many drills I need to lay, it's going to determine how many pens I'm going to have out because each one has different tips. This, my friends, these are all, where is it at? These are all my pens. Do I need them all? No. Do I want them all? Yep. Do I want more? Yep. Will I buy more? Yep, probably. 
Is it anybody's business? Nope. Is it my money that's being spent? Yep. Are they some of those gifts for my subscribers? Yeah, there are. There's about four of them. And I have more coming from one of my subscribers. It's nobody's business. It's also nobody's business on how much somebody has spent on something. So back to what I was getting at though. So this person says, it's just my own opinion. Okay, well, we didn't ask for your opinion. You took it upon yourself to make up this big post, state that you're not judging anybody, and it's just your opinion. But I didn't see anybody post saying, so, do you think I have too many diamond paintings? Do you think I have too many pens? Comment below if you think that I have too many diamond paintings or too many pens. Or, you know, I may have too many trades. Or I may have too many, you know, cross stitch patterns if it happens to be cross stitch or too much yarn. Now everybody's got this, well, I, I only buy as I need. Okay, well, that's good for you. Maybe that's all you can afford to buy. And that's, that's fine too. It's nobody's business. How much you buy, how much you spend, what you do with it. It's not any of your business. I know people that have 2,000 diamond paintings. <clears throat> Will they get them all done before they either decide they no longer want to diamond paint or before they uh, get sick and can't diamond paint or pass away or whatever? Is it? I'm not even going to say yes or no because it's not my business. I also, and you don't, also, you also don't know how fast they diamond paint. Some people can knock out a diamond painting this size in six weeks. This year, since, well, since December, I have completed 13 diamond paintings and they've all been huge. Six of them I did for somebody who doesn't like to do squares, or five of them, five or six of them. She doesn't like to do squares. She asked in a group, in a live, or in, I think it was in a live, somebody's live, not mine. But somebody's live, if there was anybody out there who liked to do squares, and that would do them for her because she loves the, the outcome, but she doesn't like to do, actually do them. I said, sure. Send them to me. I'll do them for you. So she sent them. I did them. And I sent them back. And I have six, six more over there in the corner that she sent me that I'm going to do for her. And when I'm finished with them, I will send them back to her. <clears throat> First off, right now, I am on a no buy. So this gives me the opportunity to work on some diamond paintings that I actually want to get. Some of these that I'm doing for her, I will be getting for me eventually. I don't mind working on the same diamond painting twice because I diamond paint for the therapy, the relaxation, the resting of the brain, giving me something to do. Um, hey, and I didn't have to buy, spend the money to buy them, to do them, for them to stack up in my craft room, which all of them that I've done for myself, that's what they're doing right now. They're in a stack. There's like 50 of them up there that are completed and sitting there in a pile. Um, how many diamond, uh, just to you know, clarify, I've been diamond painting since January of, I think, 2019. January 2019, and I've completed about 80 diamond paintings. So for those people to say, well, you're not going to live long enough to do those diamond paintings. Yeah, I've done 80. 
And one of them was massive. It was bigger than this. It was 150 by 50. So, you know, it's nobody's business. And when you post something like that, you, you know, people will say, oh, I wasn't trying to cause trouble. Yes, you were. Yes, you were. Don't say you weren't trying to cause trouble, because if you weren't trying to cause trouble, you wouldn't have posted. You've seen enough of the posts, I'm sure, to know that people get are very sensitive about this. So if you know it, you were just trying to get a rise out of people, and damn it, they get that rise, because it's nobody's business. And we're all sick and tired of seeing it. More and more Facebook page owners are deleting the comments and kicking them out of the groups. You're now going to get banned. And you keep doing that from you know, Facebook page to Facebook page or group to group, you're going to be out of them all. And then you can sit there and talk to yourself about everybody else's business. So when you say you're not judging, yes, you are. If you're saying this is just your opinion, opinions are like assholes. We all have one and they all stink. If I wanted your opinion, I'd ask you. And so would everybody else where it comes to how many diamond paintings or how many pens somebody has or how many cross stitch patterns or crochet patterns, how much yarn, how many crochet needles, diamond painting trays, wax, you know, pieces of wax, enough already. Live and let live. That might not be what you want to do. That might not be your idea of what, the way to do things. But you know what? Nobody asked you. Then you got the people that post, well, I can't afford more than one. You know, must be nice. You know what? I'm so sorry you can't afford it. And I truly am. That's not being said with sarcasm. That is being said with, with deep within my heart. I'm sorry that you can't. But that doesn't mean that you can't save. When you have the money, buy a Diamond Art Club gift card if it's Diamond Art Club that you want. If it's Treasure Studios art you want, get one from TSA. If it's craftably, get you know, save yourself. If, I, if you get paid weekly, five dollars a week. Sorry, I keep bumping you. If you let me get it, let me find another color here. Um, if you get paid every two weeks, say what you can save. One second. Okay, right, sorry about that. I thought my husband needed me. But save your money. Buy a gift card. Once you have the amount saved that you think you need. And then buy it. Ask your family members. Not Don't ask them for the money, but ask it. Tell them that, you know, for your birthday, this is what I want for my birthday or for Christmas. This would make a list. Um, but to criticize and judge people for what they get because you can't get it, that's bullshit. Because you are just looking for sympathy at that point. When you see people say, well, you have that many and I can't afford it, why don't you send me some? Are you kidding? These people work for that money. They work to have the ability to buy it. This isn't, you know, it's not charity. It's not the Salvation Army or the Goodwill or anything else where you can just walk in there if you need something and they're gonna give it to you. I would never dare look at somebody and say, well, you have more than I have, so why don't you give me what you have? Don't you think there's a lot in this world that I want to? Don't you think there's a lot of diamond paintings that I want? I can't get any. Not right now. Am I okay with that? Yeah, I am. I'm okay with that. I have not been able to buy any new releases in quite some time. 
And I just put them on my wish list. And when I get, in, you know, am I able to get them? I'm going to get them. Because you know what? I have enough now to keep me busy for a while. So it's okay. And if I don't get them, if they discontinue them or whatever, then you know what? I wasn't meant to have it. And I will survive. Um, so, you know, this, it's nonsense. And like I said, more and more admins and group owners are cracking down on it because it's getting out of control. The mean girls. You, you know, the mean girls on the playground. Oh, now it's the mean girls on Facebook. You can hear me say that a lot, so just um, don't come at me because I, I don't want to hear it. Uh, no, anybody, anybody, anybody who says anything off color in chat or in comments, I mean, it's being re deleted and you're being blocked. Because this is my channel and I will say what I want on my channel. Colorful or not, I don't care. It's my channel. And if it hurts me, it can't hurt me any more than it has because, you know, my channel is going on two years old and I haven't even gotten 500 subs. So I'm at the point now where you know, I frankly don't give a damn. I'm going to say what I want to say. And am I trying to hurt somebody's feelings? No, I'm just going to say that outright. I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings, but I won't apologize if they get hurt. And if you think I'm talking about you, I probably am, because if you think I'm talking about you, then that means you're guilty of what I'm talking about. So again, I won't apologize. So let's go to the next thing. People are up in arms. And I, you know, I, again, I feel bad about it. But, you know, Everybody's experiencing some kind of rough time right now. Our economy, this inflation that we're dealing with, it's hard on everybody in one fashion or the other. Whether it's you know, their utility bills because you know utility companies are raising the rates, or it's gas prices, Gas prices are going up so damn much. Nobody can afford gas in their car. Or the food prices in the grocery stores. Shipping costs across the board. I don't care what country you live in. We're all getting hit with shipping costs. It's out of control. And there's nothing that we can do about it. We're all going to be suffering in one fashion or another with it. But I am seeing more and more people. I'm not buying from Diamond Art Club anymore because I can't afford it. Their prices are already too high. Okay, first, let's, let's get that out of the way. Their prices are no different than anybody else's other than the fact that with Diamond Art Club, you're paying for, you are getting exactly what you're paying for. You're paying higher prices to get quality diamond paintings. And don't come at me. Don't come at me because I'm telling you, there's no sense in posting something that nobody's going to see. So if you have something shitty to say, just say it to yourself because I don't want to hear it. And you can give me all the thumbs down you want. That's helping me out. If you think giving me a thumbs down hurts, no, it doesn't. That puts me in the recommended videos. So more people see my videos with thumbs down than even with thumbs up. So don't come at me. You get from customer service exactly what you give. And I don't want to hear one person, oh, I was nice to customer service and they treated me like shit. No, you weren't. You were, you, tr you came at them like shit, so they gave it right back to you. I have dealt with customer service numerous times for different things. And one time I came at them and they gave it right back to me. I thought about that for a minute. And I went back and I apologized for what I had said, how I had said it, what I had done. And you give you get what you give. 
You get a lot farther with sugar than you do vinegar. So don't tell me that they have shitty customer service. They, they you know, treated you like shit and then they blocked your account, took your account away from you, you lost your points or your rewards because you know what? You didn't come at them nice. And anybody who's dealt with them know, and that has dealt with them nicely knows you did not come at them nice. So, no. And I'm going to tell you, if you came at Diamond Art Club, I mean, if you go to TSA, the way you came at Diamond Art Club, TSA is going to block your ass too. I know Rachel, not personally, but I know Rachel. I've talked to her multiple times, many, many, many times. You come at her like you do Diamond Art Club, Rachel's going to block your ass too. You're going to be done with TSA. Um, so don't say this, that, or the other thing because it's about Diamond Art Club. Because you know what? Is Diamond Art Club my favorite company? Yeah, they are. Um, because, well, first off, I've never had one problem with any of their can canvases at all. Do I have problems with the dress? Yeah, of course I do, just like with anybody, any other company. They're mass produced. You're going to have problems with drills. Diamond Art Club, I have never run out of drills because of bad drills. Yes, I ran out of drills because I spilled them on the floor. And there was one diamond painting that I did get shorted on drills. I called them or I messaged them. Next day they were in the mail and the day after that I had them. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> that's another thing with drills. Diamond Art Club. And I'm sure it's going to be that way with Dreamer Designs too, <clears throat> eventually, if it isn't already getting to this point. And that's another company that you come at them, they do the same thing that Diamond Art Club does. So, you know, you can't treat a company like shit. Bash the company, bash the customer service, and then cry and complain that you can't buy anymore. They took your rewards. You, They took your account from you. If they're so bad that you're going to bash them, why in the hell do you want? Are you worried about your account? That's pretty stupid. And with the, with the shipping, yes, Diamond Art Club was eating the shipping to, <clears throat> for International. For how many years now? They have offered this free shipping if you spent more than $75 or more than $150. So, of course, everybody is going to be buying over that dollar amount so they can get the free shipping. Diamond Art Club was losing four and five hundred dollars on shipping for those international videos. Just a second. Sorry about that. I'm back. Hopefully there'll be no more interruptions. But they were losing four and five hundred dollars on shipping per large shipment overseas or internationally. They were losing thousands of dollars a month. This is a company, they're out to make money, not lose money. So every ship, every international shipment that they had sent out, they were losing money on it. It's not Diamond Art Club's fault that the governments in other countries are charging all these extra fees. And trust me, here in the U.S. it's not any better because now we've reached a point where we didn't ever had to pay state tax or pay taxes on our orders and now we are. And in some cases, they're having to pay state, city, and county tax, which is what we get here in Nevada. We're paying the state tax on state sales tax we're paying a county sales tax, and we're paying a city of Las Vegas sales tax on top of the shipping if it's under the $75. So we can pay as much as, you know, $15, $20 on top of the cost of the, uh, the purchase. So... And that's not Diamond Art Club's fault. It's also not Diamond Art Club's fault on how the packages come to your door. 
because Diamond Art Club packages their diamond paintings very well. I have not ever had a diamond painting damaged. I've never even had a box damaged. Well, let me say, I had one box that had a little um, dent in the box, but that was only because there was a big hole that was kicked in the side of the bo outer box that it came in. And it wasn't Diamond Art Club that did it. It was DHL or USPS or um, FedEx or UPS. They're the ones that handle our diamond paintings. As soon as they leave Diamond Art Club's warehouse, they have no liability to it. It is up to you to contact your shipper, whoever it was that delivered it to your door. I don't even, if I see a package that's damaged, if I see, I, I've come to the point where if I have a package, I'll take a picture of it before I even bring it in my house if there's damage to it. Same with diamond paintings. I will, oh, I'll do a video when I'm opening the box. If there's any kind of spilled drills or damage to the canvas, it's happening right there. You can see that I've busted the tape, I've busted or the seal or whatever of the package. If there's damage, it's going to be right on that video right then and there. You cannot expect Diamond Art Club to eat all the costs of buying, sending you a new diamond painting that there's coming out of their money. The, the oops insurance, that there has to do with damage from the canvas from the warehouse, that it got damaged before it left. It's not sticky anymore, or the symbols aren't clear. That's where the oops insurance comes into play. It isn't because, oh, I hung it on the wall and it fell on the floor and the glass broke and tore up my, you know, canvas. No, that, that doesn't cover that. Another thing I'm seeing all the time and I'm going to, I know you guys are going to come at me, but I don't care. I don't care. If you have children or you have animals, keep them away from your diamond paintings. And if you can't, then don't do them when they're awake. And if you, then if you don't have time to do it because you have to sleep, well, then you might find, need to find a craft that doesn't make, the kids aren't interested in. Because it isn't up to Diamond Art Club, TSA, Dreamer Designs. It ain't even up to AliExpress, China competing companies to replace your drills because your kids can't keep their sticky fingers off of your diamond painting stuff. It's that simple. This oops insurance, again, is not because your kids see something so, oh, it's so pretty and it's so shiny. Oh. They've got to play with it and spill it all over your floor. And then you expect them in our club to keep replacing drills. Guess what? That's money. That costs money. They're eating that because your kids can't keep their damn hands off of your stuff. You as a parent need to make that happen. You can't sit there and say, oh, they're just kids. No, their kids are only kids as long as you'll keep allowing that excuse to take place. You continue to say, oh, sweetie, it's okay. I know it was so pretty. It's all right. I'll just have Diamond Art Club replace them. That's not part of the UPS insurance, and they do only cover up to eight colors when they do need to replace drills. And in some cases, they have felt sorry for people, and they have replaced them. But everybody's dogs are, are they have tails of knocking the drills on the floor. Everybody's got cats that are running across, and they're still in their drills. They've got kids that just, they can't keep their hands off of things and the parents that leave the stuff out and accessible for the kids. When you're done diamond painting, put your stuff away, put it up. When you're diamond painting and your kids are around, tell them, don't touch. Because I have a son, he knew it learned at a young age, don't touch my stuff. And I am not above smacking a little kid's hands, not busting their hands, but I'm giving them a smack on the hand to let them know. That's not acceptable. It's not going to happen. So that's where we're at with that point. Tired of hearing people bashing it. 
Diamond Art Club's not honoring their OOPS insurance. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. And it also specifically states on the website they will only cover up to eight colors. And I'm pretty sure it even states on their OOPS insurance for the canvas of what it will cover for the reasons. Not just Diamond Art Club. Because I hear the hard people, oh, Dreamer Designs, every time I've, every time I've called, you know, messaged them about drills, they've sent them. Yeah, every time, every time, every time, eventually, every time it's going to stop. They're also going to keep an eye on those people, and they're going to see those names that, oh, my kids spilled them, my kids spilled them, my dog spilled them. They're going to be like, you know what, we can't do this with you anymore because you are not being responsible and keeping an eye on your kids, your dog, your cat. So it's like your insurance company, you know, you can only call your insurance company or your homeowner's insurance so many times about something before they're like, you know what, we can't keep doing this because we're going to have to drop you because you're showing, you know, lack of responsibility of doing what you're supposed to do. If, if you have a problem with your homeowner or with your um, home warranty, you know, and you your washer and dryer keep breaking or your refrigerator ice machine keeps breaking and they keep replacing it they're gonna be like whoa wait a minute you with your if it's your dryer you must not be cleaning out the lid vent um you might not be you know you might be all kinds of different things i can't think of exact examples but you can only make so many claims on something before they finally like yeah well stop they're gonna raise your rates first off Secondly, after a certain point, they're going to be like, you are a liability to us. You're costing us too much money. We have to drop you. Well, them and our club, Dreamer Designs, Treasure Studios Arts, Craftably, they can all do the same thing. And they have every right to do it. And they have every right to take your account away from you. They have that right. Just like you go into a store and you act like an ass, they have every right to throw you out of the store and ban you from the store. Because... It's their store. Well, this is their company. And you can go on there and cry and bitch and complain about it all you want. Find us yourself a group, you know, a support group that you support one another on your bashing of companies because you guys want to hear it. Other people don't. So you guys can sit and, you know, pop popcorn and get some snacks, get your favorite drink, jump on a Zoom meeting with one another. And you guys can sit and have a blast bashing people and you know what if you want to make sure that you include me in your bashing party because i really don't give a fuck so i'm gonna stop for a second and ask how does it feel to be talked to the way i'm talking to you for the ones that are doing this this isn't to everybody this is to the people that act like assholes how does it feel because you know if it was me sitting here hearing this message from people, I would be like, damn, you know, that's horrible. I feel, so, I feel like shit if I've done that to somebody. I need to maybe think about what I say before I open my mouth. Or I might know somebody that was talked to like that. And I feel bad for them because they didn't deserve it. You know, if your kid comes home from school or from the playground or just even if it's their sibling treating them, talking bad about them and treat, don't you want to do something to protect your child? Or are you just going to allow it to happen? And are you going to allow the child that is cruel, just allow them to get away with it? Because if so, you are part of the problem. They're going to grow up to be our problem. Right now, they're only your problem. But unless you take care of the problem at home, they're going to become society's problem. And trust me, trust me, they're only going to be society's problem for so long before somebody decides to fix that problem. And it could end poorly. It could end poorly for anybody that wants to be like, be an asshole. That's why I talk to people the way I want to be talked to and I treat people the way I want to be treated so I don't have to be happy that problem that has to be solved.
It's, I can't, it's, I cannot get on Facebook and find anything positive. It's, it, it mean, it's just non-existent. Everybody goes on and is made to feel like shit. Now, that leads to another issue. Oh, Diamond Art Club's prices are so expensive. I want a Mandy Man's on. No, this is an example. This is not me. But this is an example of what I see. There's a, there's a Mandy Manzano, one of her princess paintings. Diamond Art Club doesn't have them anymore. And I really want one. But such and such company has it, so I'm gonna go buy it from them. If her name is not listed on that website as the artist, then it is stolen artwork. Um, well, one of the most recent things I'm seeing is if it's online, then it's it's free game. No, it's not. Her work is copyrighted. Randall Spangler's work is copyrighted. She is licensed. They are both licensed as Chuck Pinson, Dominic Davidson, um, Hannah Lynn. Then the, the list goes on. Those are all licensed diamond painters. I mean, licensed artists. They are licensed, they're in contract with either Dreamer Designs or Diamond Art Club or um, Uniquely Yours or whatever. If their name is not underneath the name of the diamond painting on the website, it is stolen artwork. There is a Facebook group that sells stolen artwork. <clears throat> the whole, I mean, there's multiple, multiple diamond paintings, but there's one specific place that I'm think, referring to right now. They sell stolen artwork. They admit it is stolen artwork and they don't care. They're going to sell it. And Everybody on there says they don't care if it's stolen. They can't afford it, so they're going to buy what they want to buy, and they don't care. And if you let them know, what you know, give them the example of what if it was your work and you stole it, or somebody stole it from you, how would you feel? And they they have no comment. They don't give a shit because they want it. They can't afford to buy it. And even I've heard people say, I can afford to buy it, but I, why should I buy it from Diamond Art Club if I can buy it from this place cheaper? Well, let's see, you're gonna get shit. You're gonna get shit because they're selling it one size. It's a small size. There's no way that you can get a princess painting that was, what are they? On average, they're like 96 by 71 or something like that. I can't remember because I don't have one near me. But let's use this one as an example. This is 104 by 51, okay? You see, I know you can't see the whole thing, but you see how clear that face is? Let's try that at a 50 by six, or a 50, uh, 40 by 40 or 40 by 50. This is gonna be smushed together. You're not gonna have any detail. So there'll be no clarity. Um, you're gonna be pissed off. But then again, I see a lot of really crappy, crappy, AliExpress diamond paintings that are put up that it just looks like somebody dumped this on a canvas. That's what it looks like. Because there's no detail. It's lost because everything is shrunk down. That's why you get what you pay for. You want to pay pennies for a diamond painting? You're going to get pennies worth of diamond painting. You're going to pay, get a pennies worth of canvas. The drills. Diamond Art Club does not have the worst square drills of any diamond painting company. They don't. All I'm hearing is Dreamer Designs has the best square drills. No, they don't. Trust me, I have one upstairs. I wouldn't use those drills if my life was, if, I wouldn't use those drills on a, to decorate a piece of styrofoam. 
I have to search through those drills just like I do Diamond Art Club, just like I do TSA. I don't have an ever moment. I wouldn't pay for an ever moment. They're too expensive. I can't afford that. At least right now. Maybe one day I will get an ever moment and see how much bunny ears, how much better their drills are. But I've done TSA squares. I've done Diamond Art Club squares. I've done Dreamer Design squares. I've done Katiered, Katiered, whatever, however you say it, squares. I've done Amazon squares. I have done Star War. I have done, they all have problems. They are, again, mass produced. So they're not going to be perfect. And they're going to have gaps in your square diamond paintings. You're going to have squares or gaps in them. You want gaps because if you don't have gaps, they're going to pop off. These are all things that I have been seeing over the past six or eight months more and more. I mean, it's been there before, but I'm seeing it more and more now. This pandemic, <clears throat> or it's not pandemic, this new lifestyle that we've learned to live over the past year and a half has made people salty. People have gotten bored. People need to lash out and they have come to, it makes somebody feel good to see somebody hurt. It really has. It's what it's come to. Politics has brought a lot into this because, you know, we're on opposite sides of the fence. So we got to make sure that we're on opposite sides of everything. If you don't agree with one thing, then you got to disagree about something else. You know what? I'm over it. Grow the fuck up already, people. Because it's really old that we take something that we're supposed to enjoy doing and that we... A lot of people are using this for therapy because they might not be able to do anything else. Maybe they're confined to a chair. Maybe they are... They've got an illness that prevents them from being able to go out and do things. I need to get some drills. Just give me a second here. Um, maybe they're terminal and this is all that they've got. Maybe they've got mental health issues. Because I'm now falling in that category of mental health. And this is what calms me. This is what I get excited about doing is, is diamond painting. I used to get excited about making videos, but I had to have some assholes that took that away from me. And it's taken me eight months to even be able to attempt to sit down and want to try to make another video. And we're going to see how this goes. My point is, just because it's your opinion about something doesn't mean it's everybody's opinion and doesn't mean that you have to make others feel bad. Whether it's personally bashing a company, you know what? You may have some people that are going, yeah, yeah, you rock, you rock. You know what? Not most people are going to say, you just made a total ass out of yourself. You are definitely not a person that I would want to know in real life. Those aren't things to be proud of. I'm not even proud that I'm making this video. I'm more ashamed that I have to make the video than I am that I'm making it. Because as grown adults, we shouldn't have to do these things to other adults. We should be having these conversations with children who are being cruel. But <clears throat> as grown adults, we're having to talk to grown adults like they're children because they want to act like children. It's ignorant. 
when we have a hobby that we all enjoy, why can't we just all enjoy it and keep the negativity out of it? Keep our opinions on something out of it. Because when you start putting in your opinions and your judgments, it totally takes the enjoyment away from diamond painting or crocheting. I mean, I knew of a person in a Facebook group. It was a crochet group. This has been oh, eight years now, nine years maybe, something in that area. Anywhere between eight and ten years, let's say. And anybody who is in the crochet um, Facebook groups around this time may remember, and I'm not going to say the person's name out of respect, but there was a person on Facebook, or on Facebook who was trying to, this had already started taking place as I was getting in, so I don't know all the details. I don't remember if she was a designer or trying to become a designer or if she was just showing the work that she was doing on Facebook, posting pictures and stuff. And people were bashing her. She already had mental health problems. They were severe mental health problems. And they were making fun of her work. They were bashing her. They were criticizing her. This got, this went on for months and months and months and months and months. She ended up committing suicide. In real life, she did commit suicide because of all the hurtful things. And this was a grown adult woman. She didn't have anybody in her real life. She, YouTube, I mean, Facebook was her outlet. It was her place to go to talk to like-minded people that liked crocheting, that liked the hobby. They maybe liked to knit, but either way, it was a fat, they were into fabric arts. And she was showing what she was doing that she was proud of. And she was bashed and condemned and made fun of to the point to where she literally took her life. Why? The place that she felt she should be able to go to for, to be safe and, and find happiness and talk to somebody instead she was made to feel less and she took her own life. This isn't a joke. We're, you know, the world is a hard place. And I do believe that some people are a little oversensitive about things in general. I'm just saying some people need to have a little, you know, a little more sensitivity and other ones need to not be quite so sensitive. But the ones that are out to hurt people, and that's what you're doing, you're out to hurt somebody. Because you're that mean girl on the playground. So that all kind of pulled me away from YouTube. Um, I have made to feel that I don't belong. That I don't have anything to offer. YouTube because I don't have I'm not going and buying everything and posting videos and doing reviews and doing all that but you know what this my channel is not all about that it's not all about buying things I can't just buy things just to buy them you know it's not like I can just oh I'm gonna buy this just so I have content for a video I have bills that need paid my bills come before anything else. And my abundance of craft stuff that I have, I do need to make you know uniform decisions. I have a child who is gonna go off to college. I gotta be able to help him with things. I have a husband who wants to retire in a few years. Those things come first. I have enough, I have more than enough diamond paintings. I don't need to buy another one just so I can do a review or an unboxing on YouTube to get views. You know, for the people that can do that, I'm glad that you can and I'm not jealous about it. 
If that's what helps your channel grow or keeps your subscribers, then hey, I'm glad and I will support your channel by watching. You'll get my views. I'm not going to condemn you because you can do it, but I can't. So if my channel doesn't grow that way, then I got to find another way for it to grow. And you know what? If it doesn't grow, then so be it. You know, it won't be the first thing I failed at, and I can guarantee it won't be the last thing, and it won't kill me. Do I want it to grow? Do I want to eventually be able to be monetized? Well, of course. I wouldn't, you know, anybody who says that they they don't want to be monetized, they're lying. Of course they want to be monetized. With as much time as creators put into making videos, like Mrs. Coffee says, it's a full-time job if you're doing videos every day or two or three videos a week because you have to come up with content. You have to have something to talk about, of course. You have to edit your videos. You have to, you know, keep up with your comments. It is a job. And if you are in a financial bind where you can't afford to buy things, what are you supposed to do? You know, you can't, you can't just keep buying things, buying things, buying things, buying things if you're not going to be getting anything back in return. You know, that you don't go to work and work for free. You work to bring the money home. And that is what some people are trying to do is they may be only, like in my case, if I ever get monetized, I just care about making enough money to put back into my channel, to buy my crafts. I know I'm not going to be the one that, you know, can retire off of YouTube. And most of us do know that. You know, there are three big names in YouTube. Um, big names. We know who they all are. And I know for certain that two of them have stated, both of them have already stated, they could not make this their only source of income. They literally could not make this their only source of income because it varies upon views. And if you on it, you know, with what YouTube takes out for their cut, for what, even with Patreon, they take money out. So you have you might be getting monetized from you from YouTube. They're gonna take out their percentage. And then you've got your patron, they take out their percentage. And then you got people that PayPal, they take out their amount. Eventually, you know, you're there's not enough hours in the day. And if you're sending money to people and money back into your channel, how are you going to be able to live off of that? <coughs> You don't, I, I know that you don't, it's literal, literally pennies that you get from these ads. So, you know, it takes time, it takes money. You have to spend money to make money, but if you don't have it to spend, you can't make any either. So, yeah. Um, that's one of the things that I got criticized about before I quit doing videos, that all I was worried about was getting monetized, was growing my channel. <sighs> that wasn't the only thing that I was focusing on. But if I'm going to put this time into it, where I'm taking time from my family or from taking care of my house or whatever, I, yeah, I want something back from it. We live in a world where we don't do anything for nothing, or do something for nothing. We want something back. Um, I had a few people reach out to me about doing reviews. I've been doing a lot of Amazon reviews, but they've just been on Amazon. I haven't done unboxings on YouTube, but I have a lot of people reach out to me about wanting to do Amazon reviews. Yeah. If I have somebody that says, oh, 
you do an Amazon review for me and you give me five stars and you put this, this is how I want your, you know, your um, review to look like. Nope, I'm not doing it. If I am reviewing a product for you, I am giving you, giving my 100% honest review, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. I am not going to give a five-star review on a one-star product. I will not be nasty about my review, but I am going to be honest about my review. So if you are not going to accept that, well, then you find somebody else, because I know there's enough people out there that want a free product bad enough that they will talk about, give that thing. You would swear that the whole world should own it when here the product should not even be sold anymore. So I'm not going to give a good review on a bad product. But I, like I said, I have had some people on Amazon that weren't diamond paintings or anything even related to diamond painting that I've done reviews on lately. But, um, well, actually, a couple of things were. I got a light pad that I did a review on. It's, it's not this one. It's in the front room. But it was one that you could control the temp, uh, control the, uh, they had the control. It didn't have the button. You could turn it on and off. Best, time, or best light pad. Love it. Absolutely love it. And I will, it's a Saner Direct light pad. So I will go ahead and put that in the description box. But I did a smaller light pad, an A4 light pad. So I did an A2 for Sander Direct, and I did an A4 for another company. I actually have the A4 here. I could actually show that. It wouldn't be an unboxing, but it would be just showing you what I did. I'll do that, not during this video though. Um, I did a review for an item that I bought off of Amazon from a group on Facebook. Um, but that's, those are the only diamond painting related things that I've done. And I still haven't gotten any drills. This is why I don't get any diamond painting done. Because I, if I do a video, I don't diamond paint. Um, I do have some codes for some, because I'm an affiliate for a couple diamond painting companies. Um, they are smaller diamond painting companies. It's not TSA. It's not Dreamer Designs. I do have an affiliate code for Diamond Art Club um, for new customers that's never purchased to, you know, for that one time. Um, debating on if I'm going to put it up because pretty much everybody I know has ordered a Diamond Art Club paint. So it's kind of, you know, almost pointless because it doesn't, it doesn't save them any money. It's only a one-time savings. And it would give me a small commission, but um, I don't know. Um, I just got an affiliate link for another company. I will be putting that one up in this um, video. I'm just waiting to hear back about something I emailed them. And I just want to be clear on what it is before you know, I put the link in the description box. Um, I did create a buy me a coffee account. So, you know, if you would like to help the channel to where I can go ahead and purchase some things and do unboxings and reviews, um, for you, it's, you're not obligated. I am not asking anybody to buy me a coffee, which wouldn't be a coffee I'd be buying, but, but if you want to help, the, the link will be in the description box. Um, let's see what else. Yeah. I was, I have been debating on making this video for some time. It's been that long that I've been, because you know, I don't like, the thing is, I don't like post making these videos. Even though I know what it's going to do, I always get more views on my rant videos than I get on any other video. I guess me being a bitch is entertaining, 
which is sad because, you know, it's pretty sad that I'm more entertaining as a bitch than I am as a nice person. I don't know how to feel about that. I know I feel some way about it. I'm just not sure how it is. But hold on one second. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I had to take care of something. Um, but yes, my rant videos seem to get the most views. And... Now, I can be a colorful person. I'm actually more colorful than what y'all see me as on here. So I, I try not to um, be... I don't... I don't try to be somebody I'm not on here, but I just try not to completely um, show my full self because I see what Stitcherista gets for her being her. And I love Stitcherista. I absolutely love her and I love Mrs. Coffee. Rachel Ray, I absolutely adore when she tries to get mad. She has such a hard time getting mad. She's, she's so sweet. But when you piss her off, she does, she lets you know it. But, you know, hers are you know, kittens that are fighting with each other. I know she hates that analogy, but it's the truth. She's such a sweet person that it's really hard for her to be nasty, but she can be if she has to be. Um, but... Sometimes people, people's behavior is what brings us out. It brings it out in us. And the behavior I've been seeing lately, it's definitely brought it out in me. I am who I am. I will not candy coat anything. I will not be, you know, sweet and let things go just for views or just so people like me. You like me for who I am. You like me for what I have to offer to my, on my channel or you don't. And if you don't, that's fine. Not everybody's going to like me and I'm okay with that. Because I, you know, in my real life, <clears throat> I have no friends. And I don't care. I've come to find out. I don't, I, I don't want friends. If that's how people are, I don't want them. I like my life just as it is. Because um, <clears throat> that way I don't have to kiss nobody's ass. I can be me. <clears throat> I noticed yesterday I was sitting here. I was diamond painting. I was watching some, or listening to some true crime podcasts which I will link the true crime podcasts that I listen to. I'll put that in, my, in the description box below. For anybody who likes to listen to true crime, that they may know of these podcasts or YouTube channels already, or they may not. Um, but I'll put those in the description box as well. There's going to be lots of things put in the description box in this video. And this is a long video. It's kind of making up for my last time. I'm sure that you know, people get seven minutes into it and no more than that. But then there might be the ones I do know. I have some friends, um, some subscribers that I don't know in real life, face-to-face, -face, but we talk. I know they'll sit and listen to them because they'll get a kick out of me. Um, but I was sitting here yesterday diamond painting. My husband was in bed. My son, I think he was at work. Was he work? No, he didn't work yesterday. I don't remember what he was doing, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, but I was sitting here and I was thinking to myself, it was quiet in the house. I didn't have anybody wanting anything, needing anything, complaining about anything, asking questions, talking about things that don't necessarily interest me. I mean, when they talk to me about things that don't interest me, I listen. But you know, sometimes it's nice to not have to listen to things you're not interested in or watch something you don't want to watch or listen to something you don't want to listen to. And I was sitting there and I was thinking, you know, how nice it is that I can just sit here and not have to talk to anybody. Well, 
I'm okay with that. I'm not salty about it at all. Um, there were a couple people um, in a, another group that was non-diamond painting. But there was a group that talked about us getting together, going out and doing this. And I was like, yeah, no. I had no interest in it. I don't want to go out. I just don't. First off, it's too damn hot here in the summer. I'm dealing with um, seasonal depression, which I know usually happens in the winter. For the most part, it is a winter um, depression, but it's not unknown for people to get it in the summer. I do not like the sun at all. Um, I do not like the heat at all. I, anybody who knows me, who's listened to me ramble about it on videos before, knows that I don't. And it has been excessive heat across the U.S., but it has been excessive here in Vegas the past week or two. And it has caused me to have a flare-up to the point where I walk outside and the heat touches my skin, sun touches my skin, and I literally feel like I have sunburn all over my body. You can't enjoy being outside if that's the way you feel. It's affected my, with my stomach. It's affected my mood. It's made me very crabby and cranky. Um, it's depressed me because I had joined um, Crafting Journeys. Uh, Crafting Journey with, the, yeah, I think it's just Crafting Journey now is her YouTube name. But she, there's a 90 day step challenge taking place. Um, it started June 1st. And I was going balls to the wall. And then the heat hit. And I can't, when it's 105 degrees at 10 o'clock at night and at seven or eight o'clock in the morning, it's already 90 degrees. I can't walk in that. It literally makes me sick. Um, then the flare up started and I have now, I'm like on day 45 of this fiber flare up. I'm still trying to do as much as I can around my home because just because my body hurts doesn't mean that I have to stop that well that I can stop I, I cannot allow my house to be a mess I just can't so I fight through the pain to get my housework done but when it's done I'm done so it has affected uh, my 90 day step challenge I'm still trying right now for some reason I can't my Fitbit is not charging right so I'm gonna have to catch up and have to let them know I don't even have a button right now um but I'm also going to physical therapy and I think that that's kind of caused a little bit of a flare up too because they have me doing things that I wouldn't normally be doing um last week I got woke up out of the dead sleep three different, two, two different times complete dead sleep. The third time I had just started falling asleep and it happened, but Charlie horse is in my legs and I am staying hydrated. Um, not getting a lot of potassium, but I'm trying to drink Gatorade and Powerade and body armor. But these Charlie horses, the one was almost as big as my fist. It took a whole 20 minutes before I was able to work it out. The pain wasn't gone, but the muscle had finally relaxed. And when I woke up the next morning, like woke up for the day later, the pain in my leg was so bad that I could barely, I couldn't even stand. And I'm sitting there thinking about why, you know, just like how all of a sudden out of nowhere I got a, a Charlie horse. I haven't had Charlie horses in years. 
And what made it even more bizarre is I take a muscle relaxer before I go to bed. So wouldn't you think that my body, my muscles would be relaxed? Hence, no Charlie horses. So yeah, we're, we're trying to understand that. I did go to my doctor's today. He did some medication adjustment and he wants me to go see a, I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's sending me to a counselor or a psychologist or what, but he's concerned with my mental health, with, you know, everything that's going on. Um, he says I've got social anxiety because I don't want to go out. No, I don't. it has nothing to do with social anxiety. It has to do with it's too damn hot and I don't want to go out and I don't like the sun. I'm fine in the winter months. I have more energy in the winter months. I'm happier in the winter months. So, but he still insists that it's a social anxiety. I'm like, whatever, okay, I'll go talk to someone. If you want me to talk to someone, I'll go talk to someone, whatever. Maybe it'll make me feel better, maybe it won't. Um, he asked me if I was suicidal. I'm like, no, no, I'm not suicidal. I'm fine, I'm fine there. Um, but <sighs> my social anxiety is still goes back to that no i don't want to be around people because people are mean they're just mean now i have the people i like to talk to um i have a couple people that i facebook message we chat some of them are almost daily some of them are every once in a while um I just, I don't have a lot to talk about. I, mean, I don't go out and do a lot. So, you know, there's not a lot to talk about. I've been trying to read, I'm struggling trying to find a book that is really grasping my attention. But I did just recently get a book and not yet find my phone. It's going to be the name of the book that I just got. Yeah, I don't know what I did with my phone. Hold on, let me see if I can find my phone. One second. Okay, I'm back. I found it. I have to get my tablet turned on so I can tell you the name of the book. Um, so I downloaded a book. I found on Amazon. Yeah, I've actually found several. I just, I need to kind of read the synopsis on them and see um, what they are and be able to decide. I'm just waiting for my tablet to come on here so I can find the book. One second here, I'm sorry. All right. Everything's slow tonight. But while I'm waiting for this. So, I got this book. I'm trying to read. And nothing is happening. All right, there we go, finally. Goodness sakes. My tablet's freezing up, and I don't understand why. What is wrong with my tablet? Okay, it's called The Shark. Um, I'm about ready to throw this thing, because. It's not cooperating. Okay. 
So it's by Mary Burton. It's called The Shark. And the series is The Forgotten Files. It's a three book series. Um, I'll go ahead and I got all three books for like five something. And this one has like 300 and some pages in it. I'll put those in these in the description box as well. Um, so I'm trying to read. I'm also um, trying to crochet. It's hot though. So um, I try and do that at night. I'm working on a chevron baby blanket. I am. I don't know if you can see me. I'm so low. I'm sorry. Let me fix the angle of this camera. Maybe that'll help. No, I think that's as far as I can get it to go. I'm down along the edge here. so. But I'm working on a chevron blanket um, for my grandson. Figure if I start on these now, maybe by Christmas they'll be ready. <laughs> um, and that way I can try and start shipping things out a little sooner um, so it won't hit me so hard when it comes to shipping. So yeah, I'm working on that. I'm literally, like, just literally started it the night before last. And then right in the middle of it, I realized that I missed a, uh, this, for anybody who doesn't crochet, you won't understand this, but for my crocheters out there, I was working on the valley of one of, if the one part of the row, and I needed to do the pattern called for three double or DC three together, and we're supposed to do two of them. <laughs> well, I did one, so I had to. Didn't realize it until I got to the next row, where I had to repeat that, and there was only one three double crochet three together. So I was actually one double crochet three together, and then there was one that was ended up being a double crochet two together when it should have been three. So I had to go and frog it all back. And of course I was almost to the end of that row. So it means I had to frog everything that I had done on that row, clear all the way back to that spot on the next row. I was not happy. That was like 45 minutes of lost work. So that was frustrating, but you know, at least I, at least it wasn't any bigger. And really, I couldn't find a way to fudge it that would make it look right because I, I was afraid it was just going to completely throw me off through the whole thing. So I didn't want to deal with that. Um, so I went ahead and corrected that. Like I said, I'm working on this diamond painting here in the front room on my drafting table, but I'm also doing Mrs. Crochet and Coffee and Rachel Ray's Pride event that they're doing that ran that from July 1st until I think August 31st. They're doing where uh, the adventure net where fun never ends, I think is what it's called. I'm doing the Diamond Art Club's Little Rainbow Dragons. Doing that, I'm almost halfway. I'm really trying to focus on this one a little more simply because this one ends sooner. Um, and then I took a break from the diamond painting that I was working on for my, my friend slash subscriber. This, the friend slash subscriber, I've never met them face to face. Um, we talk on uh, Messenger to each other. We just you know, send verbal messages back and forth to one another and type. Um, I was working on London, Diamond Art Club's London for her, but I asked her if she minded if I took a break and worked on a couple of these events because I planned on them before I started that. And she was absolutely fine with it. But um, I want to get the, the dragon um, Rainbow Dragon done so I can get back on her um, London because I've got, like I said, there's, there's six of them sitting over there. 
that I need to work on for her. So I need to get going on those. She's not in any rush. Um, so I, and she knows that I will do them and get them sent to her. Um, there's already, she's already got an issue with one person that said they would do it for him. And um, they sent it to her the same time they sent, she sent mine and that was in December. She sent it, I think she sent it at the end of, or end of November, beginning of December to me. I got it. As soon as I got it, I dropped everything I was doing, started on it, and then five more came. Oh, there's another one. Would you mind doing it? Absolutely. Just send it. I got to the point where I was like, you know what? If you're going to order them straight from Diamond Art Club, just have them ship them to me. No sense in her paying shipping three times because she pays to ship it to me, and then she pays for me to ship it back. So for her to have Diamond Art Club ship it to her and her pay that shipping, then pay to ship it to me, and then pay to... That's pointless, so... She just has Diamond Art Club ship them to me. It's all the square ones that she had that she wanted me to do. I already have them. So now moving forward, anything that she orders, she just has it sent right to me. I do it. I let her know how, you know, how much it will cost to ship back. She PayPal's me the money and I send it to her. Good. Um, the other person, she's still waiting for her to complete it. And the person's had it since the beginning and beginning middle of December we have a feeling that she's not going to see that painting which I think is pretty fucking shitty by the way and if you are going to commit to doing something for somebody don't use oh I'm doing this I got to do this first I got then don't commit to it if she would have known that it was going to take her forever to even start she wouldn't have sent it and now you know they say oh I've already got it kitted up because she was going to have her send it to me and have them, you know, I was going to do it and send it back. And they're like, well, it's already kitted up. It's already, you know, this, that. Now it's the excuses there. So it's, yeah. And this is a painting that's discontinued that she can't get again. So again, if you're going to tell somebody you're going to do something for them, please do it. And if you can't get to it, let them know ahead of time. You're, you're not going to be able to get to it for a while, but don't put other things ahead of it. You made a commitment to that person, honor it. And if you're not going to, don't hold on to something that doesn't belong to you because that's stealing. You did not pay for the diamond painting. It was not given to you as a gift. They asked you to do it. You said you would do it and you would return it once it was completed. And she's paying to have it shipped. She paid to ship it to her and to him and she's paying to have it shipped back. So this person's not out any money. This person is holding something that doesn't belong to them. And if that person is listening, that's shitty. You're a shitty person. Straight up, don't care. You don't, you can't handle the truth. That's just too damn bad. You know who you are. So if you're listening, Either finish the damn painting and get it sent to her or send it to her unfinished and I'll complete it because she'll get it back. And I hope no one ever comes across this person and, I, and she says that she'll do a painting for her because you'll never see it. Yeah. Oh, I was too worried about this, and I was too, I, I had to, 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 that was more important, and I had this. No. As soon as the person posted that they had squares that they wanted to have completed, wanted to know who was willing to do it, this particular person jumped on it. Oh, I'll do it for you. That person commented before I did. So, it's the just a really shitty thing. So anyway, I didn't want this whole video to be about rant, uh, big bitching and complaining and ranting, but there was a lot to say. I had a lot on my chest. I needed to get it off my chest. So now moving forward, so I'm going to be working on this. Um, I'm going to be working on the little rainbow dragons. Um, London I'll be working on and then I said the list of other diamond paintings I have I'll give in it for that that are for the for the friend of mine I'll 
give that list off here in another video. Working on my afghan for my grandson, then I have to make one for my new granddaughter. Well, she's not new anymore. She's, she's the newest of the grandchildren. She'll be two in November. So I have to make her a blanket. Um, just she does not have one from her. her um, I'm Gigi, that's what I'm referred to as Gigi. So she does not have a blanket from her Gigi, but her sister, she has three blankets and she's grown out of them all. So they will be passed down to her little, little sister. So she wants another one from me that's bigger. So I've got that. I don't think I'm gonna get them all three done before Christmas. Um, but that's okay. She's, she understands. That's the best thing about her. She's so sweet and has such a, a big heart that she understands that Gigi's going through a rough time right now. Um, and she had to let me know that she loves me like a big circle, that it's never ending. She, she told me that today, so that helped a lot. Hearing that, yes. I miss my grandchildren. I haven't gotten to see, well, I never got to see her sister, Olivia, the one that'll be two. I've not gotten to see her yet. I've never gotten to see my grandson. He'll be three in February. Um, of course, with everything that's going on, past, you know, more than 18 months now. It's understandable. I haven't been home to see my mom in six years and she's not doing well. So yeah, my, uh, <clears throat> my little Anna, she, she misses me and she knows I miss her and that I would do anything I could to go see her. It's just right now it's not an option. Um, my son just finished summer school on the 9th. He took two classes, um, high school classes, over the summer months to lighten his fall load. Um, he had government and U.S. government, economics, and math, uh, math personal finance that he took over the summer. It was six weeks and started June 1st and ended July 9th. Boy, that was fun, trying to get him to get that done, plus working, you know, he's also working. He just uh, celebrated his six month uh, with his job on the 7th of July. Um, he did very well in his classes. He got 97% in each one of them, so he had a nice 4.0 for his summer classes. And then he starts back to school on the 9th of August. He'll be a junior, but he will be graduating as a junior if all goes well. He's graduating early. Um, so that was why we went ahead and lightened his lo uh, school load for this year because he's going to have um, several AP. Well, he, has, he needs six and a half credits to graduate. And I think two of the classes that he needs to take, that he'll be taking um, for the 21, 22 school year, I think they're AP classes. AP, not AB, AP as in Paul. <laughs> um, and then, you know, still working. So um, we just want to try and make it as easy for him as possible. I'm glad to have, you know, these next few weeks where he's not having to do school work. Uh, it's it's not fun trying to get this child to focus and, on schoolwork and prioritize um, and not procrastinate because, you know, he just wants to play the video games. <laughs> That's all he wants to do is play the video games. And when you have a job and your student... Um, Something's got to kind of take a back seat, and the job obviously can't, and neither can school. So, yeah, it's been fun. But again, I was talking about the podcast. So, I found a couple um, podcasts 
that I really enjoy listening to. Two of them are on YouTube. Um, one is Stephanie Harlow. She does true crime podcasts or, you know, videos. It's just her talking about them, but she does those on YouTube. I really enjoy listening to her pod, um, videos or, or podcasts. And then her and Derek, I can't remember his last name. They do a crime weekly together on, um, it's on both YouTube and wherever you listen to your podcasts. I listen to my podcasts through, um, I think it's Apple Podcasts. And I don't even have my tablet in here. Where's my tablet? Oh, I do have my tablet in here. I just don't know where. What happened to my tablet? It's a different tablet than I had my, um, app on for re or my Kindle app. Hmm. Again, things are disappearing from my space. Here it is. Oh goodness. I downloaded it off of I have a Samsung Galaxy tablet and I uh, ordered the or I mean I downloaded the app from there it just this podcast player it's got like a a signal thing is the icon uh, so i listen to both of those on youtube so i like if i can sit and watch the person <clears throat> i would prefer to watch it on youtube but if it's just a you know just somebody talking and there's no nothing to look at, then I listen to it on my podcast player. Um, so I listen to both of them. And then I also listen to Morbid, which is the name of the podcast on the podcast player. Um, I really enjoy listening to, um, it's Ash, it's Ashley and Elena are the two that, that do the uh, morbid. They also do put up their, um, their podcast on YouTube after it's already aired on um, the podcasts, wherever you listen to regular podcasts, whether it be Spotify, Apple, whatever. Um, but when it's on you posted on YouTube, it's just, it shows just a picture of their um, logo and you just listen to them talk and they're, they're hilarious. Um, if you are sensitive to language, uh, foul language, they're not your people. If you love listening to people just say things like it is and have no filter, which I love. They are right up your alley and you definitely need to run, not walk, but run to your device, go to um, your app store and download the a more, you know, a, a podcast player. If you have a podcast player, you need to search for Morbid, M-O-R-B-I-D, and you need to listen to them. And I am not getting anything they don't even know who i am i just want to give somebody something good to listen to and they are they're funny they um i said have no filter absolutely no filter at all they're awesome i love them stephanie harlow she's she definitely has a filter but I still love her she's she gets in and you know she says things like it is but she's definitely um She's good to listen to as well. Oh, I had to turn the fan off. I can actually say I'm chilly. And you guys probably can hear me better. I can just imagine how bad this video sounds. I hope I didn't spend almost two hours recording this only for you not to hear me. Um, so there's that. I got the podcasts. About, I uh, talked about the book. Um, that's it. I recently downloaded several books. Let me see here. 
if I can find them. Again, as always, didn't get very much diamond painting done. That's nothing new. That's atypical for me. Um, oh, let's see here. I recently downloaded, let me see here. Bring up my library. A book called The Darkest Flower by Kristen Wright. Um, Broken Glass by Alexander Hartung. I think what I'll go ahead and do instead of looking, I might go ahead and do a video just about the books that I have. Um, I do have this. So I'm going to try and um, do some planning. I plan on doing this before and yeah, it didn't happen. But I do have a planner that I got. Oh, I don't want that to hit. There we go. And I got a bunch of, you know, stickers and stuff. So I think what I'm going to try to do is plan my projects based on this. As well as, I mean, of course, I got to put in, you know, any doctor's appointments or anything like that. But I am planning on trying to do that. So I want to kind of set that up as like a project planner. I do have my diamond painting log book that I use for this because I'll put my, I'll put this, this sticker here. I just put in the back because I'm going to make a, a, get a binder that has just my stickers on this and I'm going to put it on my cardstock. But for the ones that has a small sticker, I put that in my planner, which is over here somewhere as well. Let's see here. Where is it? Here it is. Okay. Thing. Uh, this here, I can put down all the information about it and then I put the sticker down there. This here is Jennifer Roberts diamond painting book that she, it's a guide and log book. This here, I can go ahead and link that too. This is um, DP Adventures. But her real name is Jennifer Roberts. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll have that link to Amazon for that too, if anybody would like to support her and get that. Um, let's see, what else? What else is going on? I'm trying to think. Um, started watching, started watching The Cruel Summer on Hulu. I did only got a couple season or a couple episodes in. I, I want to get back to watching it. It was good, but there's just so much going on. Um, at the time that I would normally watch it, those are that's the time that my husband. So I usually watch those things like when my husband's watching the game that I don't care to watch, or if he's sleeping, you know, because I, my sleep's so screwed up. I'm awake when he's sleeping. He's asleep while I'm awake. Yeah, but I want to get back to watching that. I'm waiting for Brigger. Is it Briggerton? I'm waiting for second season of that. The third season of The Virgin River on Netflix. It's a Netflix original. It just came out. So I'm enthralled in that. Um, there's a couple other things that are coming to Netflix. But again, I think what I'm going to do is the Netflix movies and the Hulu movies or series. I think I'll go ahead and do that with my books. Like one video is going to be all about the books that I plan on reading, I read a couple that were really good, but it's been it's been during this past seven months. But I can go ahead and talk, you know, tell you what they were. I don't want to talk about them because it's been so long. I don't, I probably couldn't really give you any good information on them. They were good books. They were books I would definitely recommend reading. I just couldn't tell you about. It. And I might be able to read this, the synopsis on it. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and do a separate video that's just going to talk about the books.
that I plan on reading and the shows that I'm watching and the ones that I plan on watching. I'll do that. That'll be a, a separate video. Um, and then I'll also go ahead and do a separate video that's just the diamond paintings that I'm going to be doing for my friend. Um, and maybe do a tag question or something. I don't know. I have, in several videos, I have almost begged my subscribers to tell me what you want me to talk about. And I get no answers. So I just have to come on here and ramble, which usually leads into a rant that ends up being two hours long and that no one's going to sit and watch the whole thing anyway. So again, I question my sanity. Um, I did get something too. Art Dot. Those links will go in there. And I can, I can't get them out now, but Art Dot reached out to me. That's a, um, they're on Facebook, but also on Amazon. They reached out to me and asked me if I would review something for them. And I said yes, and I did. It is the entire DMC of all 445 colors of the drills. You get, um, I think it's 200 drills of each color of all 445 DMC colors. And they come in round and square. I got both. So that's nice. In the event that I spill some drills and I don't need that many, but I, you know, I need enough to finish it. I don't have to reach out to and, you know, whatever brand it is and ask them to send me the drills. Or I can still reach out to them and ask them because I might need them if I'm taking them from someplace else, you know, from another painting. Maybe I don't have enough of the art dot. Maybe I need more, but at least it doesn't stall me from working on the diamond painting. I can go ahead and move forward. And then when I get the replacement drills, then I can put them back to whichever diamond painting I need them from or um, you know, whatever. So they appear to be very good quality drills. Um, I had, did have to break into one of the DMC colors, and I don't remember what it was. It was for them and painting that. Yes, I spilled the drills all over the place. It was a mess. And I did not feel like I am trying to pick them up in my carpet because it was a very light color. I was just like, oh my God, no. I'm not even going to fight with the carpet and the dog hair. So I just vacuumed them up and busted out the drills and from the art dot box and perfect. They, I, there was no trash. There was no knobbly bits on the ones that I, you know, had out. Um, I was good. I was very pleased. Definitely worth the money. Um, is it good for doing a haid? No. You do not want to do a hate with these unless you want to spend an astronomical amount of money because they do not sell individual DMC uh, colors. You have to buy them as a set. So you're going to end up buying 445 colors and you might not only need but 90 and you're not going to have more than 200 of each color. So I know there's another creator on here that just did an unboxing of a Haid that they're going to be doing and they were asking about um, where to get drills for it because, you know, the Haid did not come with the drills. Um, and I did see people that commented to go to our dot. No, that's not going to work because she did show the um, legend and in some of them, she needed like five or 6,000 of one specific color. You're only going to get 200. You're getting one pack 
that has 200 drills of each DMC. So one pack of 310s, one pack of 939, one pack of 151, but that has 200 drills in it. That is not going to help you. I think it's 200 drills. Let me double check, maybe it's 2,000. Either way, it's not gonna help because you can't even buy them individually. Let me see. Let's see how many come in it because I'd hate to be wrong after saying that. <laughs> and I still have a chance right now to backpedal and give the right uh, quantity. Okay, so it is 445 colors. That part I got right. It is a thousand pieces per bag. So scratch what I said before. It's 445 B, uh, 445 colors, and you're getting a thousand pieces per bag. They do have an option for um, you know, the round or square, so you have your choice. Um, they do have a option if you click on for another spot where you can get all 445 colors but you're getting 200 per bag on that one. And that's $15.99, whether it's round or square, either one, or you can get both of them individually sent. You can get one set around, one set of square. And if you go on Amazon, you can actually save 10% when you apply a coupon. So I will put the art dot links for each one. One that has the thousand piece set and one has the 200 piece set and you have the option to be able to save 10% on. They do also have a promotion available. And again, I am not sponsored by ArtDot. I'm not getting anything out of this, but um, they do have promotions. If you click on, you can do something else. If you Or you can save 5% when you purchase one or more qualifying items. So there's that option too, but yes. It was definitely, they're nice to have because eventually I'm, I'm going to do either a aid or I may um, just get a diamond dot canvas and make my own pattern. Just, just to try it just for fun. Um, I have been thinking about doing a challenge or it would be me challenging myself. I mean, of course, anybody who wants to you know, do it with me is more than welcome. But I have thought about doing a 12 hour diamond painting challenge where I would literally diamond, plate, diamond paint for 12 hours with just breaks, you know, potty breaks, um, get up to stretch my legs for five or 10 minute breaks, something like that. Um, but it wouldn't be until the fall where it's cooler. Um, and it would be on a weekend. Um, it, it wouldn't be anything more than just me challenging myself to see if I could do it. To see exactly how long I could actually go. Um, with, like I said, nonstop down and painting with just the exception of a potty break, five or 10 minute break, stand up, stretch the legs right back to it. Literally not doing anything else. So I thought about doing that. Um, if there's any interest in me doing that, please leave that in the comments. Um, if I get enough um, response to it, then that might be what I'll be doing um, in the fall. Um, let's see what else. If I remember correctly, Mindy from Mindy's Diamond Moment, I think she's got a Chuck Pinson event coming up. I will definitely be um, involved in that, doing that along with them because well, Chuck Pinson's my favorite artist. And I have done all three of the events that she's had so far. 
Good, good check, Jensen. I think it's been three. Maybe it's just been two. Two or three that she's done. I've, you know, participated in that. Um, and the cool thing is, is one of the paintings that I'm doing for the person that doesn't like squares, one of them is a Chuck Pinson. So I'll actually be able to use that one to um, be in the event. And I think it starts, I think Mindy's starts in September. Um, I'll link her channel so anybody who's interested can watch for her announcement on that. She usually gives a month notice. So I figure by the end of July, beginning of August, she will be posting her announcement on that. That is usually with um, Marissa, Maritza, the Kiss My Crafts. Usually that's something that her and Mindy do um, in the spring and in the fall. So that is what's, you know, coming down the pipe there. Um, let's see what else. What else? Um, update on my braces. Um, I got some good news when I went to go with Adonis the other day. If all goes well, I'm crossing my fingers. Um, I may get my braces off by the, by the end of the year. I'm hoping Christmas. Um, technically, they're not supposed to come off until June, roughly around June 2022. But because I have done everything that I'm supposed to do with wearing my elastic bands, all that um, as directed, I've had very good progress. So I'm really excited about that. I already decided that my first meal after having these taken off are tacos. Um, I can't remember the other thing that I said I was going to have. Oh, I was going to get tacos and a bag of potato chips. I want crunchy tacos, the corn tortilla, or corn taco shell, and I want potato chips. Those are the things that I miss the most. Um, uh, I am so tired of spaghetti, pasta in general, mashed potatoes. I've been on a French fry kick lately where I've been making, I never say it right. So for all my Canadian subscribers, I'm apologizing ahead of time. I think it's called Putin, Putin, whatever it poutine. is. It's poutine, French fries with gravy and they use cheese curds. I don't get cheese curds. I just get a soft cheese like Munster or Monterey Jack, mozzarella, something that melts easily. And then um, I think the traditional Canadian way is with um, chicken gravy or beef gravy. I've been doing chicken lately, chicken gravy, and it's really good. But the other day I made it with beef gravy and oh my God, it was so good. <sighs> but you know, Carbs, 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 carbs. That's all I'm eating is carbs because carbs, that's the only soft thing that I can find. It's carbs. It's either, like I said, some form of a mashed potato, baked, um, baked potato, French fries, tater tots that, you know, are like 99% cooked. You know, they're, they're cooked on the inside, but they're not crunchy on the outside. Um, pasta. Um... I souped myself to death in the winter months, which just, I'd probably eat soup now, but again, can't, too hot. So I'm looking forward to the winter months. Grilled cheese. I have been doing grilled cheese like you wouldn't believe. Sourdough bread. I've been doing pepperoni grilled cheese. Where I'm using like mozzarella cheese, or not mozzarella, Munster cheese, or um, the American cheese it's like the craft deluxe um and pepperoni or hot ham and swiss or hot ham and any cheese but doing it grilled yeah um i can't even think of all the things because i'm so i'm just so over eating the same things 
over and over and over again. It's full of carbs and full of calories. So if these things come off in December or by the first of the year, I will be starting the new year on a weight loss journey because I have 40 pounds that I need to lose. Well, <coughs> at least 35. If I can get 40, great, but at least 35 pounds that I want gone. Um, when the weather changes and it cools off, I will go back to walking. I'll get up, I'll walk in the morning. Um, yeah, but, and then Reese cups, Reese cups, I've been eating a lot of Reese cups because I can. Um, and the puff corn, not the, not like cheese puffs, but like the, it's actual Chester brand has a puff corn that has, that doesn't have the kernel and stuff in it. I can eat that because it dissolves. But ice cream, you know, all the things that are so bad for me. And it's sad because two years ago, almost three years ago, I was started on this thing. I think it was, um, yeah, it was 2019, January 2019, 2019, so two and a half years ago, I actually was watching Statrista's videos, and she was doing her weight loss at that time differently than she's doing now. Yes. Differently than she's doing now, but um, she was doing it, and it encouraged me to start. And I was going to the gym, I was watching everything I ate, I was measuring and weighing and reading and doing all the things. And I was very successful. I had lost like almost 30 pounds. And then summer hit. And I mean, I lost like almost 30 pounds in six months. Summer hit and it got too hot and I fell off of it because it was too hot to walk. It was just exhausting. And I just fell off of it and I've gained that, almost all that weight back. Well, I've gained all that weight back and then some. One second, please. All right, sorry, I'm back. I had to take the dog for a walk. I don't even know where I was when I had to tell you to hold on. Um. Yeah, that totally threw me off. Interruptions is not good for my brain. But <clears throat> anyway, um, so I'm going to add all the links to the channels that YouTube channels I talked about, the podcasts. Those will all be in the description box below. Um, I will go ahead and throw up my affiliate links. I will go ahead and post the Diamond Art Club affiliate link. If you've never done, ordered from Diamond Art Club before and you're new to diamond painting, you will um, get a one-time percentage off for your first order. I will make a small commission, but um, if you want to use that link, that's fine. If not, Up. Um, there's which you have to join and be accepted. If you're not a member of Mrs. Coffee and Rachel Ray's group, Crafters Anonymous, or Anon yeah, Crafters Anonymous with Rachel Ray and Mrs. Coffee, you can always um, request to join there. You will have to ask answer some questions. There's also um, coupon codes for Diamond Art Club on the canvas. There is, um, so there's one, there's actually one right, right here. There's a code for a discount on that. There's one on your order thing that you receive. 
And there's also one on the instruction pack inside your um, diamond painting. So there's always ways of saving money with Diamond Art Club. There's always the rewards program. So if you do get diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club, you can you know, save money with that. If you do reviews after you order a Diamond Art Club painting, you will get an email that will ask you to do a review. You do a review that has both um, a verbal review, you know, like you're typing up your review in detail. You will get rewards for that. You are earn points for your rewards from that. You post a picture, you will get earn rewards and if or a video, and then just giving it, you know, the stars. You can earn up to 350 points towards rewards for Diamond Art Club. So there's always ways of saving money. No, the shipping, there's nothing we can do about the shipping. That there is has to do with the government. We can't avoid that. U.S. customers, yes, we can still get free shipping, but we're having to pay taxes on our diamond paintings now. Not all states have reached that point. It has something to do with Diamond Art Club reached their sale point for certain states, and once they reach that cap, that's where now they're required to start adding tax. That's where that came about. Um, and then I explained the international shipping is not free now because what it was costing them to ship them. If somebody spends, if an international customer, I mean, I may not have this exactly right, but if a person, a customer, say in the UK, buys, see, $200 worth of diamond paintings, they reached that point where they had to spend 150, or say they spend 150 in diamond paintings. Diamond Art Club ships them for free. It's free for the person, but Diamond Art Club has to pay the shipping, and that shipping might be $300. So now, they, they're in the hole. They're completely in the hole. Yeah, a person spent $150 in diamond paintings, Diamond Art Club made that money, but it's gonna cost Diamond Art Club $300 to ship them. So not only did they do they lose that $150 in sales, but they pay an additional $150 to ship it. A company cannot stay in business that way. Yes, Diamond Art Club is losing a lot of international ship uh, customers because of that, but there's a lot of them that says, you know what, I don't care how much they cost, Diamond Art Club's worth the money. And I tend to agree. And like I said, don't be too surprised if eventually TSA reaches that point too. I mean, they may and they may not, I don't know. I don't have any affiliation with them. I'm just saying the way that everything is going right now with the economy and with the inflation, we may be seeing that across the board. And we pay good money if we wanna purchase something from another um, country. I mean, just to get the tips, the forever tips, what it costs to buy them plus to have them shipped. No, we're getting eaten alive too. You and the, you know you and the people internationally may not see it that way, but we are getting it too. There's nothing we can do about it. We just choose to either support a company or we choose not to, but that doesn't mean we've got to bash them. Um, also, I am an Amazon influencer, so all the things that I am using that I've purchased off of Amazon in my videos, those will be in the description box as well. If you purchase anything from those links, I will receive a very small commission off of that, like literal pennies. But anything that, you know, is purchased that I make any kind of commission on, it's just going back into the channel. 
So if you purchase something from Amazon and use my link and I receive something, once it builds up, because it'll just sit there until it's built up enough to purchase something, and whatever I purchase, it'll be for the channel. Um, any kind of commission that I would receive from any links that I have in there, it's all going back in the channel. I will have my Buy Me A Coffee link that'll be there as well. My PayPal link is there. So if you make any donations or any purchases that I can make commissions off of, just know that it will be to purchase something for the channel. If you do, I thank you ahead of time. If you don't, I completely understand that you're not obligated to. But this, but anything that I make um, that is monetary is going to go into the channel until I become monetized. Once I become monetized, well then of course, if I become monetized, that's gonna go into the channel as well. Um, so, and I don't say, um, I'm sorry. I don't mean to keep saying, um, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I did not expect it to be this long. One thing I do want to state real quick is I know a lot of people complain about why people have such long videos. I can attest that I like to have longer videos because then I have less videos that I have to put up in the event that I don't. Sometimes something in your life happens and I may not have a chance to get a video up or like what happened in the past six months, seven months, where I just felt myself disconnected. So a lot's happened and if I don't get it all out in one video, I'm going to forget some things that I might really want to have in there. Um, not this case because most of my video was ranting. I needed to get that off my chest. It needed to be done for my peace of mind. <clears throat> but generally, you know, some people only have one day a week to post a video. So they give it some length so they can get everything that they need to say, any house cleaning or business that needs to be done, gets done in that one video. But I also know a lot of people, there are a lot of people that like the long videos because when they sit down to diamond paint, they have a chance to have something to listen to. And I know a lot of people have done it paid for three, four, five, six, seven hours. Also, a lot of people like to listen to these long whipping chats when they're doing other things, whether they're if they're driving or they're doing housework or they're sitting down knitting or crocheting or cross stitching, whatever their hobby is, they would rather sit and listen to a whip and chat opposed to watching TV or listening to music. I myself, I prefer the long ones. I miss when, when Stitcherista used to do her real long whip and chats because it gave me something to focus on. I had something to listen to. I didn't have to be bouncing around trying to say, oh, that's only a 30 minute video. Now I got to find something else that I'm interested in listening to. If you're not interested in a long video, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. But for the ones that are, it helps them. Um, I try to, of course, not everything everybody says, you, you want to hear the whole thing. I get that. I completely get that. <coughs> but maybe that moment, I don't want to listen to everything. Maybe I don't have time. But you can always go back. Whatever you've listened to, it doesn't start you over. If you just go to your history, you can pick up where you left off on any one video. So we know anybody who's been to my channel before knows, yes, I do put up long videos. I am long-winded. I have a lot to, you know, I don't always have a lot to say. I have a lot to ramble about. That's, that's better. It's, I don't really talk, I just ramble. And I do get all over the place and bounce around. And I apologize. I do have a form of ADHD, so, <laughs> um, or ADD. So I have a hard time sometimes staying focused and on topic. But um, yeah, so if you made it this far in the video, which I, don't, <laughs> I probably will 
won't be. I see any comment. Um, comment. Um, let's see. What can I have you say? Just comment. Well, let's see. What's the temperature right now? This will be a fun way to see how well people pay attention or get this far. 11.55 p.m. It's 85 degrees here. So we just had a drop in temperatures. It's 85, but it's also 45% humidity. <laughs> and it's raining, drizzling, sprinkling. It's not even sprinkling. It's a mist. Um, but yeah, if you've made it this far, just put in the comments, 85 degrees. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my rant. I wasn't out to insult anybody. I'm not judging anybody. I'm just asking people not to insult and judge others. Encourage people, support people, and you know, if you have an opinion about something, that's fine. We're all entitled to our opinion. But like I said, everybody's not entitled to hearing your opinion. Let's just not be mean. There's no, there's, it's not called for. There's no reason for it. You wouldn't want somebody to do that to you. So don't do it to others. Again, it's that, you know, what we were, what we were told as children, treat others as how, treat others the way you would want to be treated. If you don't want to be treated cruel, don't treat others cruel. So if you managed to get this far and you're new to my channel and you're just checking me out for the first time, hit subscribe and click on the bell. That way you can be notified anytime I put up videos and I'm hoping tomorrow to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put this away. Like right now, I'm going to put this away. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to sit down. I'm going to work on my list of books and movies so I'm ready for my next video for y'all um, hopefully this one, this one won't go up until Wednesday because it's 10 30 or 10 till 12 at night now it's too late to make editing and stuff tonight but tomorrow I'll have my son do, he's my editor I'll have my son do the editing and get this up so it was recorded on Tuesday but it'll be up on Wednesday and I will go ahead and probably go ahead and record my other video that's going to be about books and the Netflix shows and movies that I'm watching. I keep bumping everything. I'm sorry. Um, go ahead and do that recording tomorrow morning. Maybe I'll do it over my coffee in the morning with y'all. So, again, if you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe and the notification button. And if you're returning, thanks for coming by. If you wouldn't mind, please go ahead and share and share the my channel. And um, I hope you guys have a wonderful time. You're trying to stay, you're staying cool where you need to. Everybody that's going through, you're dealing with fires and flooding and stuff from the weather. You know, please stay safe. And with everything that's going on in the health world, this isn't over yet. So if you haven't been vaccinated, I encourage you to consider vaccination. For those that have been vaccinated, you know, we've got some new things coming on that this vaccination didn't, you know, didn't protect us from. So we're still vulnerable. Uh, so wear your masks if, if you're able to. If not, just try to stay away from, you know, people as much as possible. You know, like Mrs. Coffee says, wash your hands, wash your face, and all that fun stuff. These are things that we know we should be doing it anyway, whether it's through <clears throat> these types of germs or other germs that we deal with throughout the year, every year, all of our lives anyway. So, y'all just...
just have a wonderful rest of your night if you feel as a Tuesday night, which it won't be Tuesday night when you watch this. But I hope you have a wonderful week and I look forward to chatting with you all soon. And hopefully the videos and the books and stuff that I talk about will um, interest you and that you'll go and watch them and you can come back and tell me about them. If you're already watching them, I look forward to hearing what your opinion is. And till next guy next time guys, have a great day or a great night. Stay safe and take care. Bye guys.